We are live. Here we go. Let's do the countdown. Everybody, welcome to another edition of the Cross and Dis Cross and Discussion Group, Kufar Akbar. And I say everybody just making it just in time. Dr. Kufar Phobia starts a stream at uh, 3.30 my time. And I'm I'm sitting th here thinking, okay, so he starts a stream at two th or at 3.30. His streams are going four and five hours. It sounds to me like he's not going to make it, but look it. He just made it just in the nick of time. Thank you, sir, for coming. Okay, so we are here. Oh, we are here on the Global Patriot Radio Network uh, every Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Sunday afternoons at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're live casting on Facebook, the Dr. Eric Smith Facebook page, and the Crossing the Crescent Facebook page, and here, of course, on YouTube. And I wanted to kind of lead off with a YouTube uh, complaint today. Um, I don't. Well, I do complain a lot, I guess. I don't know how much I complain on the show here, but I, I'm kind of a complainer, I reckon. Uh, but I, I, I'm not, it, it takes a lot to offend me. It, it really does. I, and I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it, it really does. If you really, you know, you have to, you have to really put some effort into it to offend me. But YouTube really offended me today. And here's why. Well, actually not today. It was uh, two days ago. No, what's the C? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. What was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. So it was Monday that I got offended because I got up Monday morning and I checked. Actually, I got up Sunday. Let's see here. I got up Sunday and checked the YouTube page for the Cross and the Crescent. I do that, you know, occasionally. And I was looking at uh, last Tuesday's show and we had 309 views for um, the age of Aisha. And we had, where is Mecca? Uh, the one, the week, the Tuesday before that was uh, 120 views, which, you know, we normally, you know, 309 views is quite a few uh, for, for this channel. Anyway, we normally get between about 180, 200 views uh, per per show. But I, I was looking at that. And then the next day after the hot tunes, uh, uh, Hatun's video. She came on and Hatun came on Sunday. So I took this uh, Monday morning. Now look at the number of views for the age of Aisha. Can you guys see that? I got 300 views. And we saw that this one went up by one view. Okay. That's cool. But the age of Aisha is 301 views on Monday, but on Sunday it's 309. Now, can any of you guys explain that to me? I mean, or do you guys have any expertise in YouTubeage? Knowledge? As I've been saying, Eric, uh, Vlad Tepe's blog got taken down, and one of the things he documented before this happened, um, where he was his news shows were taken down, being called porn. But one of the things he started to document before that was 
how they were continually taking away his views. That's Why the would joy. they do that, though? I mean, what what is the purpose it's of theft. picking? It's actually, it's actually theft against you. That's the yes. because it keeps you from being showing up in an algorithm. That's why. Okay, uh, uh, let, let me just okay. That, uh, so this show is having such a profound impact on the world where now they're targeting the show so it doesn't show up in algorithms. It's too dangerous for YouTube to get the truth out. Oh my God. Oh, that's I don't uh, I can't stand these social media guys. I mean, it, we oh, OK, Amazon. We all know Amazon. OK, you never guess how much money we spent at Amazon on let's starting on December 21st to today. One thousand six hundred and ninety two dollars. One thousand nine hundred sixty-two, one thousand six hundred ninety-two dollars. I spent on Amazon since like December. Christmas presents. Well, I don't Christmas know. Christmas presents. I don't oh, know. Okay. okay. You and don't the reason know. Why, well, see, that's a great question. <laughs> How don't I know this? <laughs> the Queen and I are. Somebody <laughs> got your credit card number. <laughs> yeah. so the Queen and I are cruising around today, and she goes. Would you buy at Amazon for two hundred and eighty dollars? Would you buy at Amazon for seventy five dollars? What do you but what have you been Jeez. buying at Amazon? I'm like, uh, you know, because sometimes you get that deer in the head, like like I did buy something at Amazon, but I got to thinking about it. It ain't nowhere near that amount of money. There's no way that we spent that amount. So we called and um, what brought this up was that we, you actually have to scream into the phone, customer service like 800 times in order to get a human being to talk to you from Amazon. So when we start talking about these big tech giants like YouTube, Facebook, oh, by the way, I read an article today that... And, and they all sound like this. Hello, sir. My name is Jose, or my name is John. Uh, yeah. Thank you for calling customer service. How may I help well, you Well, actually, today? you know, my wife was actually talking to a guy... And she said a word that, okay, that uh, she was very, she was very, she was upset was what she was trying to say. She goes, well, I'm very upset with this, but she says, I'm very, something like I'm very jaded. I'm like, he's not going to understand that. <laughs> yeah, say upset. Go, oh yes. Right. Okay. Now I got, I got it. Cause I mean, if you, and I'm not, you know, I'm not faulting these, the, you know, these people, you know, how from, can from, I yeah, do the needful for you, sir? Okay, Let me well, do I'm, the needful. And I, I'm not down with you kindly, know, their, sir. Kindly, sir. Do the needful. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm not <laughs> down with saying, hey, you know, you you need to get a, you know, I'm not talking to an American. I ain't going to talk to you type deal. But because uh, you know, you're talking to somebody that that's actually halfway around the world when you when you when you do something like that. And but their <laughs> name ain't John or Steve or Sue or Betsy <clears throat> Lou or whatever. I'm just telling. No. You and your name's not radical moderate either. So there you go. <laughs> secrets <laughs> okay i tell you what we need to we need to get on topic here i'm sitting there looking at chat and chat is i mean you got people zooming yeah, through the chat do. today thank you for coming everybody i appreciate you all uh coming in there and um and uh, and participating today don't forget uh, to like share da, 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 hit the bell subscribe yeah. share it give it to everybody and darcy i'm just letting you know okay you for sending this now because yeah no, what did she, she do? She sent the snow. Oh, the snow. yes, Darcy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, she got. She had a. I don't know if she. No, I don't think she had a white Christmas. I think that was Sunday. She was saying they got that. Oh okay, Andrew. I see that there. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's see this page. On. I'm, I'm gonna go. Um. I'll. I'll, I'll look that up. Um. After the sh today's show and and try to figure out what's going on with. It. I. I. You know. It, I'm not. I don't do this for the views. I do this because I want the information out there. I mean, it's, it's, it, any any voice that rises up against what this ideology teaches and the impact that it has on is just one more voice out there. And Eric's the more not of us that are out here, money off this, so yeah. you know, he's not making money yeah. with the with the, view, uh, with the views. Paul, so that's important. To... Paul, Paul, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I guarantee you. Hold on, hold I on. Guarantee you. 
What did you uh, learn a book? <laughs> a lot of the, uh... <laughs> Hold on, my favorite people, the Jews, bring me money. Don't you see? I keep their flag here, and I fly this flag, and I get. <laughs> I, I have been accused of getting a stipend from the Jews Excellent. for flying the flag. Our, 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 our Muslim <laughs> sponsors, our Muslim sponsors of Camel Cola and Jamal Body Wash for Men, have pretty much we, we haven't heard from them. In I I don't think we're gonna hear back what, from him anytime the camel soon. Fist sponsor? <laughs> well, it was the cam. Was the was no the Jamal. What was the camel urine one called? Was that that was, uh, that, was, that was camel cola? Camel cola. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you notice? I'm just saying. You know that. I yeah, mean, I was about to ask you. Do they you cut have off your supply? It's they too, too clear. Supply. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> they cut this kaffir off. <laughs> Man. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you, know what, you know what Islam reminds me of more than anything else? The Borg from Star Trek. The Borg. Yeah, they got the, the cube and everything, man. Yeah. Oh, sure okay, now that I have seen. I haven't seen Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? But I have seen the Star Trek. Is that where they got the things going through their heads and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, the Borg. I've se- I have, okay, I've seen, I've seen Bjorn Borg. On Star Trek. You will be assimilated. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> you will be assimilated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Resistance the is odd. futile. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, figure the odds. Okay, so um, okay, so why did Jesus... Yeah, thank you, Chris, for uh, reminding us to get back on topic, which we haven't even got to the topic yet today. Today's topic, just to be honest with you, today's topic we were going to do on Sunday. Sunday, we were going to talk about why Jesus came. Uh, and the reason why is because it was like the day after Christmas. But when Hatu Tosh says that, hey, I'll, I can come today. Would you like me to come on? I'm like, yeah. So you just drop everything that you're doing and and you have her on. And we did. And it was just a wonderful time. And I appreciate Hatu coming and uh, Daughter of Christ. And was it Sister K? Yeah. Is this Sister, Sister K? K. Has she been, is, is she on her program? I don't. That was the first. I don't I don't mean to be mean about it, but that, like, I think that's like the first I heard of her. Is yes, she on her? Is she yeah, on with her? Yeah, yeah, she's got a program. She's got a channel. She, okay, Soho gonna, or something like that. I mean, I'm okay, saying well, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna like K, It's K Soko Films. That's oh, it. Okay, that's I know it. who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah bingo. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, okay, red so hair. I, yeah, so yeah, I she's do know cool, who man. she is. Okay, she's cool. All right, all right. Got it then. Yep. Got it. All right. So let's talk about why Christ came. And here's here's the, the impetus behind this. When we look at the, the Muslim Jesus, does the Muslim Jesus sound anything oh, like geez. the Jesus that we find in the Bible? And the absolute answer no. is no. no. Absolutely He's not. He's a coward. He's uh, a he wimp. Like well, I, oh, I, I, have, I have his statements in the Quran. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to those. But when we look at the, the the Islamic Jesus, the Messiah, they can't. The Quran is silent on even who the Messiah is. They just said Messiah, Jesus. They even use it as a part of his name erroneously. Oh, by the yeah, way, yeah, Messiah. And then they don't yeah. even mention the purpose of the Messiah. Right. And this is the reason why. This is the reason why I wanted to talk about this tonight. When we talk about the reasons why Jesus came, and we're going to get to those towards the end, but what I want to do is I want to kind of le- set a kind of a foundation here of what the Old Testament said and the reason why the Old Testament said and who the T- Old Testament said was going to be the Messiah. So what I did was I went out and I found a whole bunch of Bible verses, and I'm sure you all appreciate me doing this. I'm going to try to make these nice and big for people to see this way. Um, people who are out, because I know a lot, some of you guys get on your phone and it's kind of hard for you to, for you to see these. But when you look at um, just some of the prophecies about Jesus, um, you look at the uh, proto evangelum, which we find in Genesis 3.15. This is right after Adam and Eve's sin. God pronounces the curse on the world. He pronounces the curse on Adam and Eve because you, you know, you're going to have to you know, work now. Women, you're going to have uh, pain and child labor. Uh, the ground is going to be cursed. You're going to have to till it and work it, thorns, thistles, etc., etc., etc. But what he does, what, does here, though, is he, he provides us with a hope. He provides people with a hope. And here's what he's saying. He's saying, your seed, there's going to be enmity. I'm going to put enmity between you and the woman, Satan and the woman. 
and between your seed and her seed, and he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. So what God is saying here, right here in the first chapters, the third chapter, but first chapters yep. of somebody's got a hot mic. There. I don't know who it is. Um, anyway, in here in the first chapters of Genesis, the book of Genesis, God is making a promise. And he is saying, this is my plan. This is what's going to happen. I will put enmity and he, this, this person that he's going to send shall bruise your heel. So he's telling, or he's, he's going to bruise, he shall bruise your head and he will bruise your heel. Now, when we look at who Christ was and who this person is going to be, we can go to the prophet Isaiah. Now, prophet Isaiah does a really good job. Here in uh, chapter 7, uh, verse 14, it says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall call his name Emmanuel. God so when you with call, us. Oh, my goodness, exactly. So mm -hmm. if you have a son, and you say that that son is going to be God with us, so who does that tell you this Messiah is going to be? I know it's not a hard. It's not. A, it's not even hard. Yeah. God you, with you, us. You miss all of this. This is why the theology of Islam does not. You know, when we start saying, "Oh, Allah and the God of the Bible, the same guy." No, it's not. It's not the same dude. I'm telling you, it's it's yeah. it cannot be. So the theology is completely inconsistent with what we have um, uh, in Christianity and in uh, Judaism. Then you get to Isaiah. Let's see. This is Isaiah nine. This is nine seven. What is this? I can't remember the verse nine. Is it nine seven or is this one? Yeah, it's nine seven. Nine six. Nine six. Okay. Nine, for unto nine us, six. Yes, sir. Okay. For unto us is born a uh, a child is born unto us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Elzebor. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. So if you're going to call this child given to you, mighty God, what does that tell you about the, about this child? He's mighty Let, God. An everlasting father. Yeah. And that's, prince yeah. of peace. Oh, yeah. They are one. We are one. I and my father are one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now let's get to Micah. Now this, I went to a... Uh, Oh, I love that one. Yeah, my wife love and I Micah. every every uh, every uh, Christmas Eve we go to a different church. We, we go to uh, go to services from other denominations, um, and the reason why is because my church doesn't have sun or Christmas Eve services. I've been asking them to do it for no, I don't know, seventeen years, and they haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe next year, who knows? And they, you know, they might do it next year because next year Christmas is on a Sunday. Yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, okay, so let's look at this next one um, with Micah. And uh, the reason why I said this is because this was one of the verses that was cited in the sermon on uh, on Friday night. The preacher talked about this. Uh, okay, so it says, But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrata, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from old, from the ancient of days. So you see this connection of this, this one coming from Bethlehem, going to be born in Bethlehem, going to be born of a virgin, yep. is coming from the ancient of days. So how can this one be coming from the ancient of days? As a baby, unless this one born of a he virgin is God with us, is is God exactly is is Emmanuel mm -hmm. is God with us? Well, we don't read that in the Quran now, do we? Of course, we don't. So uh, mm -hmm. let's let's go ahead. What they, was that? Well, they just try to make it uh, where it seems silly. But you know, didn't God create human beings? Right. And can't he get a virgin pregnant? Right. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, they, they try they they try to say something about the verse of uh, Isaiah seven fourteen of it just being it's just a woman getting pregnant. 
well, you know, okay, so that uh, that doesn't that doesn't make well for you because it says it's a virgin. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, all women back then were virgins. Okay, are you sure about that? Um, but you know, and then as you read a little bit further down into Isaiah, you know, you will definitely see where it's talking about the the coming Messiah. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I always, the one thing they always try to do is tell us that, well, no, this is Isaiah, you know, and it's not part of the Torah or the gospel. Whoa, wait a minute, bro. If you read the gospel, you're going to find Isaiah quoted a lot. As yep. a matter of fact, we call Isaiah the Old New Testament, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good word. I like that. The Old New Testament. Yeah, I mean, so when they try to go there, you shut them down immediately. Yeah, well, I, they do. And they see, here's the thing: they know they know the answers to these things, but they, they if I just want to what, what, what is well, it's it's what they they don't want to admit the truth. And when they are told what the truth is, they completely ignore it and keep blabbing on about you know their, their same talking points, even though that they're proven wrong on them. Yes, it's it, it's frustrating. But you know what? Like I said. Enough voices out here to keep on pushing back, pushing to get enough of us out here. Eventually, somebody's going to be heard. Uh, okay, uh, this next one. This is uh, Jesus speaking before uh, the Sanhedrin. So you'll never guess which I'm going to be talking about here. Exactly right. It says, Matthew 26, 64, Jesus said to him, it is, it is as you said, nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter you'll see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power. Now, you, which prophet sits at the right hand of power of God? Muhammad. None of his prophets. No, Muhammad is, <laughs> well, but, okay. And then look what he says here. In coming on the clouds of heaven. Now, look at the reaction to uh, Caiaphas here. The high priest, he, he says, I, I don't like it, but all right, I'll take. No, what he's in, he says, this, he tears his clothes. The folks, the tearing of the vestments, these, these, um, these clothes that these guys wore, the, especially the yeah. high priest, these yep. things are considered holy garments because of all the, the stones that they have on there and all the. All the bling. I actually did a paper a long time ago about all the things that they that uh, and what this what they were supposed to symbolize in which each stone was supposed. It doesn't matter. But he tears this holy garment and does what? He says blasphemy because they knew exactly what Christ was talking about here. Yes, I am he God. Spoken, he is. Yeah, exactly. I, and who comes on the high clothes? And they knew that they associated that with him. So yep. they knew exactly who he was claiming to be. He was claiming to be God incarnate. Yep. Now, if they can't see that, that's not our fault. That is being spiritually blinded to the truth. Where is and I'm as a matter of fact, I've been working here the last couple of days on that um, putting Jesus in his place series that I've promised everybody for the past still, oh, I don't know, eight months. Um, it's, I'm almost done with the slideshows. I haven't started the videos yet, but I'm almost done with the slideshows. We'll get to the videos eventually, but, uh, I'm almost done with the slideshows. Uh, but anyway, let's go back. I was going, let me go back to this. Well, here you have, and, and the thing, the reason why I brought this up is, you know, that oft made question, where does, where does God say, or where does Jesus say, I'm God, worship me? Yeah, at least it's, it's, it's in the Angel, don't you know? That's exactly where, I mean, that's, that's, that's well, where you want to tell them. It, well, you just come back and say, okay, well, where does Jesus say, I'm not God, don't worship me? Actually, right, if, you didn't, if you want I, exact phraseology, you, you got you got, you got, to turn right back around on them. Actually, you know, I just thought of that, that, that's a good comeback to them. Say, so, you know, he said, he said, I am God, worship me in the lost in jail that Muslims have destroyed and, and, and hidden from everyone. Because remember, they have the original in jail somewhere, but they can't produce it. So that's where God, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just reverse it on them. I'm going to, I'm going to try yep. that next time I encounter a Muslim. Okay, go ahead and write it down. Uh, make sure you send me uh, some type of, uh, what do we call that, lo royalty every time you use it. Yeah, no, forget about it. I stole it. Fair and square. It's 
All right, let's uh, let's and, and okay. So who is who is Jesus himself? Well, look at here. Let's go, let's go to John seventeen five. When we start talking about the ancient of days coming on the clouds, living in eternity past, here in John seventeen five, Christ admits that and now glorify me with uh, the oh Father, glor, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So the next question is is which prophet pre-exists the creation of the world? If he's just a prophet, how does this work out? How does this work out in your little mind, yeah. that if he's just a little prophet? That it makes absolutely no sense. You know, and this is right before John 17. Am I right? Three, John's that they love to quote. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because yeah, I knew it. You need to I, you need to quote seventeen one through five and yeah, make sure yeah. three gets in there because they don't have anything to, to go back on after that. You get it all in there, and three it say? takes three out. It takes three out of play for them. Okay, then, yeah. Now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what they got. Oh, you're the one true God. But um, what does that say again with the glory which? I had with you before the world. Uh, why would they miss that? I mean, doesn't that seem a, a bit odd? No, it doesn't. I don't, I don't think they, well, they cherry understand pick. what that means. They cherry pick. I, right. I don't even yeah. think they understand what that means. They don't. It's just, it's, uh, what do we call that? Uh, where you, uh, quote mining. It, all that is just quote mining. They don't want to make any pra type of practical application of it, you know, cite any type of context in which it was it was said. None of that stuff ever pops up. And you just get the Zach and I telling you that they did said to do, I can do nothing because of, uh, all the, all these things that he says, he can rattle off like 20 verses in a row, but never gives you at one, any, at any time, any type of uh, discussion, in-depth discussion context. of what, what, what those verses mean um, and why they were said in the context. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, because he was he was telling them that him and his father are one. I don't do anything of myself. I'm one with the father. But they won't read that context. Yeah, they they say, oh, well, Jesus is helpless. He can't well, do anything without the father. Uh, no, they all work together in unison. No one makes a move without the other one. Yeah, sorry. Thanks, thanks for holding the fort there. Dead air is bad air. Thank you for doing that. I don't know why, why I'm lagging tonight. This is, is this, a, I think this is the second time this has happened. Yeah. And a couple times before the show. We were, anyway. Okay. So let's go to uh, the, the chapter and book where people actually all the way up until the dis I think it was the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls where, where they fi finally stopped making this argument that Isaiah chapter 53 was redacted back into the Old Testament. It was placed there at some point in time and redacted into it after the coming of Christ. And the reason why is because it fits so perfectly to what Christ did. And the main part that I want to focus on is right here in, what is it, verse, let me see here, verse 7 and 8, where it says, He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before its shears is silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare for his generation for what? He was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. So what? He was killed. When you're when you're stricken from the land, when you're cut off from the land of the living, what does that mean? You're not in you're the dead. land of the living. You you've been you dead. Died. Exactly. And why? Why right here? For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. And and if he was really not dead, like, oh, I don't know, maybe he just swooned. One of these theories that they keep coming up, or uh, or replaced, he was, and they made a grave with the wicked. So here you have a clear messianic uh, verse of Christ being punished for our sins, 
killed and then uh, put in a grave. That that's you know I don't know how you get around that. So when we start looking at okay, why did Christ come? Well, first off, because he is the Messiah. Something that you don't that you don't get from the Quran. When we look at what Jesus says in the New Testament. We can look right. Okay, let's start right here. Compared to the New Testament, let's go ahead and look. Let's go to uh, Mark chapter two. Oh, Mark chapter two. What does he say? Your sins are forgiven you. I don't know of prophets forgiving sins. Do you guys? No. No, sir. They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't. Prophets do not forgive sins. Did Muhammad forgive anybody's sins? I don't recall that happening. No, he and then if encouraged you encouraged it. Yeah, he encouraged sinful yeah. behavior. He was busy, <laughs> what, 70 times a day asking for forgiveness? Something like that? Um, His own. I don't stance. That sounds like a hadith of some sort. I don't I don't know, uh -huh. but what, what I do know yeah. that he had many sins to atone for and ask forgiveness for. Yeah, but he's here, trying, to, trying to copy the 70 times 7 is what he's trying to do. There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay, and then it says why he's doing this so you know that the son of man the son of man up oh, sons by the tons here has power on earth to forgive sons and look what he did he says, he says pick up yeah he says hey pick up uh take up your bed and go to your house and immediately if you have any question about who i am immediately he arose took up the bed and went out of the presence of this and they were all amazed so here you have, if you have any question, you know, because any, I mean, think about it. If if I wanted to, I'd say, Connie, I forgive you of your sins. And if I'm saying that I'm a prophet or if I'm the son of God or somebody, how are you going to know? How are you ever going to know if me forgiving your sins actually was enough to do it? You really can't. But look what Christ no. does here. This is the beauty of this verse of, of this um, of this passage, is that he says, if you have any doubt. Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or pick up your bed, walk, you paralyzed walk. man, and then you will see. Now, which one would be harder? Well, I would say healing the paralyzed man would be much harder if you're thinking uh, that way. Yeah. So there you go with that one. Let's Indeed. see what else Jesus What else Jesus says. Jesus said to, oh, let me put this up here. Let me put this up here. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. You guys, do you know what the, um, what is, uh, what did, how that go? Bethlehem. What that means. It's kind of like Gethsemane means uh, wine press. House of bread. Not, Bethlehem. 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 House of bread. Exactly. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Gethsemane means uh, olive, not wine press, olive press. And Bethlehem means uh, house, house of, of bread. bread. So when you talk about Bethlehem. the bread of Where's the bread of life coming mm -hmm. from? Uh, Bethlehem. There you go. Uh, okay. So he says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. He who believes in me shall never thirst. But I say to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe all that your father gives me will come to me. Where am I going with this? Hold on. My own, the will of my father sent me. Let me see here. Maybe that was the only the point that I was trying to make here. It was not all that the Father gives me. Oh, here it is. Yeah, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. For I've come down from heaven. Not where, where, where did he come from? For I have from come heaven. down from heaven. This is Jesus saying this. I don't remember him saying that in the Quran. Anyway, <laughs> um, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all um, that. All he has given me, I should lose nothing. I should raise it up last day. And this is the will who sent me. Okay, so here you have Jesus saying that uh, it was he has come from where? He's come from heaven. Heaven. So here you have the ancient of days, pre-existing the world, coming from heaven. This is his words, coming from heaven. This isn't John's John inserting something here. This isn't Paul inserting something here this is a quote uh, from apostle. the gospel of john eyewitness yep okay mm -hmm. and then let's get luke 22 here's what here's what he says he says he took bread and gave thanks and and said this is my body which is given for you 
Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this is the cup of what? The new, the new covenant. New covenant. The new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. So if he's not on the cross, how can he be shedding his blood? If that's not him on the cross, how can he shed blood in this new covenant? This would actually not make any sense at all if he was not on the cross, if he was never crucified. The only right. way that this makes sense and the rest of the New Testament makes sense is if he was crucified. Is there yes. a verse that says that he was not crucified? Who says he was not crucified? <laughs> oh, the hey, Muslims. Let me think about that. Yeah, let Islam. me think about that one. Yeah. Oh, Brad puts it really. Brad makes a good point here. He is manna from heaven. Yep. Way to go. Woohoo. Bread of life. Hallelujah. Okay, then let's see here. John 3.16. Okay, I don't even need to put this up on the screen, uh, but I will. For God so loved the world that he gave his only uh, begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, which son did God give? Because, you know, we're all sons of God, don't you see? You ever? I saw that argument. Somebody was making that argument today. I think it was on the EF Dawa channel or whatever the heck it was. Oh, well, we have sons by the tons. We don't you know we're all gods? It says right there in uh, John eight chapter eight. Ye, doesn't it say that ye are gods? And we all yeah, have all kinds of sons. Psalm, we're the sons of Psalm eighty two. Yeah, well, he of course they don't include that. There's no context. It's just it's right there in the Bible. <laughs> you don't you believe your Bible, don't you? Right. So here he says he is the only. Well, look at that. The word, there's the only mm -hmm. right there. Here's the word. Look at there. It's not my words. The only son Unique. of God. Yes. Brought forth son. And why? Of the father. Why? Why did God send his son into the world? The very next verse. A lot of people don't read the very next verse. It says, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but, but the, the world, world through him might be saved. Might be saved. So why did Jesus come? That the world might be saved. Not to save the world. Mm -hmm. He came to save the world. Can a prophet save the world? No. A prophet, well, a mere prophet. His name is Jesus. Not, is, is, yeah. Not not the written prophets, but the prophet that Moses spoke of. If yes. you're just yes, yeah. if you are just a plain, if you're like Micah, mm -hmm. Hezekiah, uh, Mal yep. or Nahum, any, any of those prophets, if you're any nope. prophet, Isaiah, any of those, nope. can you save nope. anybody? Nope. <laughs> no. You nope. dare not say it because you get stoned to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they take you out and you know, they rock you to sleep. That's exactly right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's keep reading. It goes on to say, he who believes in himself, believes in him, is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of who the only begotten son of God. And here's, here's the problem with why people don't recognize him as the son of God. This is, it, 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 it tells us explicitly why people do not recognize him as the son of God. It says right here, and this is condemnation that in the light, that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than, light because their deeds were evil yes so this tells us exactly why people shun christ as a son of god they say oh we love jesus right yeah really no you don't really which jesus we're getting to we're getting to the jesus <clears throat> that they love I mean, and the, the question really becomes is when we get done with it we'll ask well why what's so what's so great about what he says here i mean what he says that he's come to save us from our sins. He's come to shed his blood. Think of all these things that he's saying here in these verses. And look what Paul writes here in um, the Carmen Christi here in uh, Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind be in you, which is also uh, was also in Christ Jesus, being in the form of God. Did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself no reputation, reputation, taking on the form of a bond sermon, coming in the likeness of men. Who's coming in the likeness of men here? Uh, 
God. The one who is in the form of God. Right. Okay. God. And he comes into likeness <laughs> of men, being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. And why? And what did God do? He highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the same time, the name at the name of Jesus. What? How many knees will bow? Every knee every shall bow. Every name. Where? Of those in heaven. In heaven. Yep. Not not just here on earth. Right. Those in heaven will bow at the name of Jesus and those of on earth and even under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. To the glory of God. Now, the Father. I don't including Satan. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, to include bow. Satan and all of his minions, all of those minions, <clears throat> all of those satanically inspired in those satanically. Those, those people who are blinded. And this is what's so sad about it. They're spiritually blind. You sit there and you listen to these guys. You mean Allah? Like, what? Sorry. You mean Allah? <laughs> you were saying Satan. You mean Satan? Allah? Yeah. 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 Satan. Allah. Yes. Same thing. And, and, and Satan, Muhammad. Satan. It, well, it is the same thing. If you if you read uh, mm -hmm. Galatians chapter one verses verse eight, it's the same. It's a, if, if I or someone else tell you preach another gospel to you, let that person be accursed. Yeah. So why are you accursed? Yeah. Because it's a lie, and only yeah. somebody who's lying to try to keep you from believing in the true gospel would want you to to believe that. So you would go yeah. to hell. And, and, and Jesus said, I, "I saw your God fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning." Um, yep. Well, we were just reading today, um, Surah 2, where it says Allah is going to leave us in darkness. He's He's not going to provide a way out. And he doesn't. He provides no two. way out other than just say, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh, I'm sorry again. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, there's no. I mean, I mean. And I, I, I get it. You know, you, you want to be in a, in a true uh, uh, frame of repentance, continued repentance. But there's got to be a price for that. You just can't. I don't know. I, I just can't get past the fact that they, they, they cannot understand that. They don't want to understand that fact. That's not is they can't is that they don't. That's that's probably a better way to put it. Were you going to say something, Paul? I'm sorry. Or Ed, somebody was. I think somebody was trying to say something. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now, do the apostles call Jesus God? And it's you can go to. I think it's Luke where Thomas yes. says. Okay, Luke says it in. Uh, is is it Luke? Thomas says it in the Thomas. Gospel of Luke. Yeah, Thomas right. says it straight up. My yeah, Lord the last God. chapter. Right. My Lord and my God. Uh, doubting Thomas, actually. Bless you. Aaron. No Thank more. You. Yeah. At that point, he was no more doubting. Right. Okay. So would you think that another apostle <clears throat> would say it? And the answer, of course, is yes. Because if you go to yes. Peter, Peter, you go to Second Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh, who? Peter, a bondservant of the apostle uh, an apostle of Jesus Christ to those who obtain precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yep. Hallelujah. So there you have one of the apostles saying that, and this is just one of the, the instances of it, but I mean, of course, you, you have it all over um, the, the gospel record and also here in the epistles of uh, Peter, John, uh, and of course, Paul. You have it all over the place. Every okay. time they call him Lord, every time they call him Lord, that's God, right. yeah, the Lord exactly. God. Yeah. Well, you can. <clears throat> what did you call the the knights and the kings of the matter? Oh, Lord. No, and that's Not and this the is the, the argument, right? This is right. This is, the, well, this is the this is the the, the process of equivocation mm -hmm. and, and conflation of terms that they they, they that, that there a lot yeah, of them are constantly. Um, Lord, 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 Lord in the Lord in the Bible, um, also the name, um, etc. Um, is a place for a placeholder when it refers to God. Adonai or Adonai, I forget which one in Hebrew is Lord, or Kyrios in the Greek. 
um, it is a placeholder because the Jews, especially during the first century, during the time of Jesus, would not say the divine name out of fear of blasphemy. So they inserted placeholders. Okay. Actually, it Man. happened long before that. As, as you read, um, uh, what, what is it in Daniel? Oh, no, what would they use Adonai? No, actually, in Psalms, would they use Adonai or Adoni uh, as a placeholder for the divine name for the Tetragrammaton? Not only that, but but now in yeah. well modern or medieval Jews, they, they insert the word Hashem for the name. But here is what is interesting. Uh, um, well, no, it's not Father. It's just the name. Hashem is just the name. But but what oh, is okay. interesting? Okay. But, 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 but 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 what is interesting is if you read in John chapter seventeen, you, you know that famous um, verse that Muslims say, "See, he's 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 saying that." Uh, uh, you know, he's not God. You know, the one where it says John chapter three or John chapter 17, verse three, where it says, so they may know, so they may know eternal life. Um, you father, the only true God and your son, Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Well, if you read yes. verse 11 and 12, and remember, this is writing first century Jews. What does Jesus say? He says, father, I have kept him in the protection of your name. Your name. What is that name? A first century Jew would know when it says the, your name. Okay. Um, the name. And then he goes on and he says the name that you have given me. Okay. <laughs> so he has the divine name. And he says it twice in verse 11 and 12. I don't have it up. But I, I have it right here. I will know. remain in the world no longer, but they're, but they're still in the world. And I'm coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me. So Woo -woo. that they may be one as we are. Hallelujah. Uh, as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them. Man, okay, yeah. right. there we wow. Go. And it says it twice. And you know when God says something once, pay attention. When he says something twice, yes. you better. Taylor, pay take warning. The, yep. the, the, the third time is you're stupid and you're condemned. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I, but I got some other stuff I'd share. I mean, were, were you done with your presentation, Eric? I have some presentation. No, There's I got a couple other things that I want to. Okay, go I'll, ahead. Continue I'll bring on. Well, I, I'm ready, though. I'm ready. I got my, got my screen ready to share, but go ahead. Sorry. All right. What I want to, well, uh, okay. Let, let, okay. Let me go. Let me bring yours up. Go ahead. Well, what I want, I mean, it's a great presentation, but, but, but you left out a very crucial point, and that is the blood. Okay, let, let, let's go back blood. to. Well, you kind of did, but you 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 went over the Lord's Supper to blood. Well, okay, let us let us. Okay, all right. Well, maybe because I was putting together my presentation, I didn't hear your presentation, so maybe it uh, doesn't matter. But, but but anyway, so so let's take a. Actually, no. So this is what brought me up. You you talked over Genesis, um, with the man and woman. But but here, let's take a look at this. Then the eyes of both of them were opened. This is after they ate of the fruit of the vine and the tree of good knowledge, whatever. Uh, then the eyes of both of them were opened. They realized they were naked. So they sewed together fig leaves, okay, together and made coverings for themselves. So then he goes over with the curses and blah, blah, blah. But 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 here, here what do we have? After after he gives him the cursings, after he curses the, the man, well I shouldn't well curses man, curses woman, curses the serpent, okay, putting the order of things together, okay. What does he say? Remember, they're naked. They're trying to cover their sins with fig trees. What does the Lord God do? The Lord God Himself skins animals for Adam and and his wife to clothe them. So the Lord God shed the blood of the animals. I mean, think about it. You're skinning an animal. Trust. I've heard Muslims say, well, no, you can take the skin off an animal and it would still be alive. Oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> no, not unless you're cruel. Barbaric. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're cruel. But, but no, so he shed blood to provide the clothing. Zoom okay? in, please. Uh... I don't know how to zoom in. I don't know how. Uh, well, hold on. Control mouse. There we go. Yeah. I, what am I talking about? I don't know how to zoom in. You see it? Is that better for you? Yeah, a little bit better. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm God... just asking because of the chat. That don't get on okay. me about uh, this. All right. All right. All right. All right. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. So he clothed them with the skin of animals. But but here, it gets even more interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't have it. Okay. So. Oh, I, I, I didn't bring it up. I, I didn't have it, so I failed. But but let's just go over it. What do we read about later in the next chapter? Um, actually, yeah, let's just move it over. Cain and Abel. 
now here, now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions, from some of the firstborn of his flock. Right? Okay? Now think about it. If you're bringing fat portions from the... You're slaying the animal. You're shedding the blood. Yes. Okay? All right? Then the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, even though Cain offered him fruit. <laughs> Our God does not like fruit. Okay, according to Muslims, he likes fat. No, seriously, it's the shedding of the blood. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry, dude? What is your freaking problem? If you do what is right, what is right, and then the sacrifice, okay, anyway, you will not be accepted. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. If you do what is right, you will not, no, well, do what is right. You will, will not, you be, not accepted. be accepted. Well, will, will, you yeah, will, be you accepted. Not, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. So what does Cain do? <laughs> he doesn't take the advice. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out into the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, am I my brother's keeper? Then the Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's what? Blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground because he shed the blood instead of using the blood that was provided, which we will get to in a second, to cover up his sin and transgressions because he allowed the sin that was crouching at his door. Instead, he sheds the blood okay, of his own brother. But let us continue to another example. Okay. I want to address over, it's called the binding of Isaac. So we continue on in Genesis 22 with this whole blood theme, okay? Um, this is called the Akita, the binding of Isaac. And this is very important, okay? All right. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, my father, I, I see Isaac was no fool, okay? Uh, th this is when he's taken up to be sacrificed, okay? And, and Isaac said to his father Abraham, my father. And he said, here I am, my son. He said, behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself, for himself, the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. Excuse so, me, Rod, it's no, the binding of Ishmael. It's not no, the binding no, no. of Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Islam is strong in this one. Anyway, no. But no, <laughs> Biden of Isaac. The, the, anyway, let's let's continue on. God will provide for himself the he, God will provide himself the lamb for the burnt offering. Right? Okay, so God, so Abraham's yes. like, okay, but let's read on. When they came to the place of which God had told them, Abraham built the altar um, and laid wood in order and bound Isaac. This is the binding of Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand, took up the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and said, The angel of the Lord, right, called, called out from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hands on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted his eye and looked, and behold, behind him, was a what? A ram. A ram. Caught in the thickets by his, by the horns. And Abraham went, uh, and Abraham went out and took the ram and offered it up to him as a burnt offering instead of his son. But what did Abraham say? He said that the Lord Himself would provide the lamb, right? But here we have a ram. Now a ram and a lamb are two different animals. Just to let you know, they really are. They're related, but they're two different animals. Okay. But let, but let us continue on, and, and, and this is this is the point, I think, that drives us home. Okay. Well, first of all, let, let, let's cover this. Okay, after the exod exodus in Leviticus 17, 14, God lays it down. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have, what? Given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. Actually, what? I'm, I'm using a really bad, yeah, okay, that's what I figured. 
Um, ESV. Non-inspired version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I just put this together. Uh, English standard version. English standard. That's version. what I want. That's what I want. And that's well, what I then want. go. That's okay, you push the. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Click on the pig. All right. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the life of flesh and the blood, I have given to you on the altar make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Therefore, I said to people, is there no person among you shall eat blood? Neither shall you, uh, neither shall Aaron shall your soldiers among you eat blood. Okay. Um, you know, well, okay. So, so anyway, so, so the life is in the blood and you see this whole theme beginning in Genesis. First of all, God himself provides the shedding of blood to cover up the sins. Okay. The nakedness of the man and the woman later. Okay. When, um, Cain and Abel offer, um, uh, 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 sacrifices to God, God rejects the fruit. Okay. Cause he ain't no vegan. I'm just saying. Okay. But instead only accepts <laughs> the blood offering from Cain. Uh, I'm sorry, from, from Abel. Yeah. I'm sorry. Re rejects it from Cain, accepts it from Abel. Then Abel reacts. Okay. And, and sheds the blood, okay, of his own brother, which calls out from the grave, okay? So you, you see this kind of continuous theme working through here. And then here, God himself says, life is in the blood. It also says in numbers, and we can go to a bunch of other verses. Anyway, okay, now we get, now we're putting it together, we, we, we get to um, Exodus, okay? I kind of skipped ahead a little bit, but Exodus. Remember Isaac and the lamb and the ram, okay? Well, here we have it. Tell this is Moses telling the whole community this is after all the plagues, and this is now when the final plague of death is coming to the firstborn of Pharaoh, either in the field or in Pharaoh's house. What is the firstborn? Sorry, the firstborn of Pharaoh or the firstborn of his cattle. Either way, all the firstborn of Pharaoh will die, all the firstborn of Egypt will die. Think about that. But what does he say? Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a what? A lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor. Having taken into account the number of people they are, you are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. The animal you must choose must be a year old male without defect, and you may take them from, uh, from the sheep or from the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month, when all the members of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the, what? The blood. And put it on the sides and on the tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lamb. And on that same night, they are to eat the meat, roasted over the fire, along with bitter herbs of bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or boiled in water, but roast it over fire. Well, I'll, I'll get into that later, but do not, okay, w with the head and legs and the internal organs, do not leave any of it till the morning. If some of it is left till the morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it. With your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, eat it in haste, for it is of the Lord's Passover. Now, I read a little bit too much there, and I do apologize, but, but the main point I want you all to take away from this is, one, blood from the very beginning. Okay, to cover up the nakedness of sin. Blood, okay, is only accepted from the Lord in the fat portions of the animal. Blood is shed, uh, shed uh, of, 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 of Abel by his own brother for being rejected. Okay, all right. Anyway, and now we have Isaac, who is who is going to be sacrificed, okay, um, to God by his father Abraham, and Abraham saying, "No, God Himself will provide the lamb." And now we come to this scene, okay, all right, where God Himself, oh, well, not sorry, not God Himself, well, where God is telling people, "Take the lamb." eat of it, eat the whole thing, what's ever left over, burn it, waste it. But most importantly, okay, 
put your doors put put on your door frame okay the blood of the lamb and that will be the marker for the destroyer is coming to take all of the firstborn of pharaoh okay right? Red, i don't mean to get you off your mojo uh, here but i, I want to ask a uh, question and sure. maybe somebody here can tell uh, us in all of islamic theology whether it's in the hadith literature the quran Sira, uh Takris, whatever is there any mention or alluding to of blood atonement for forgiveness of sin? No. No. Maybe we can ask the imam who's listening right now if he can come up and, and because he's the uh, the expert on the analytical um, um, analogy of the test here, but no, there's not. Um, okay. According to Quran 46 verse 9, Muhammad didn't even know where he was going. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But but let me get back to this because this is a very. I'm sorry. Okay. I I was I just. Uh, okay. No 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 no. Mm -hmm. no. It was a great it was a great point to break. It was a great point. To break. Well, I made the point. I, I, so it was a great I, point, of course. Of yeah, course it was. But but I want to get into this. <laughs> I, I want you to understand something. According to okay, not all Judaism is the same Judaism, but according to the mainstream okay interpretation, the rabbi of the Judaism, Isaac is the lamb that is shed here. Isaac actually was killed by Abraham, according to the rabbis in the Talmud. Isaac was actually, uh, uh, Abraham actually killed Isaac, burned him up on the fire, okay, all right? And then his blood was shed, perpetuity, to be this blood. And that's why it's called the binding of Isaac. This is the Akedah. This is very important, okay? This is in the to, Talmud, uh, you said? This is this is in Talmud, uh, very major main sect Orthodox, um, the, the largest Orthodox community. This is why you get the, it's called the Kapara, or I think it's something like that. Where okay, especially if you live in New York or any large uh, Orthodox Jewish community, um, if you want to buy a chicken during the Day of Atonement, forget about it. You ain't gonna get one. OK, because they buy these live chickens up because they can't sacrifice at the temple, but they buy these live chickens up a hen for the female and a, a rooster for the male. OK, and if the wife is pregnant. Yeah. OK, well, anyway, so so basically they, they, they take this chicken, they wave it over their head and they say, may this be the atoning sacrifice or of Isaac, you know, on, on, on the day of uh, Passover or whatever. OK. All right. Okay. No, seriously, they do. I, I, I forgot the exact words of it. Or, or if the, the woman is pregnant, they rub the head, head around her body. May this atone for the unborn sin. And then they sacrifice the chicken. Okay. They shed the blood of a chicken as a replacement for this. But this is actually, but, but there's more to it than this. This is where all this stuff comes from on the atoning sacrifice. Okay. At, at the temple, which I'm going to get into next. Okay. All right. Anyway, no, but this is very important. The binding of Isaac is very important, okay? And anyway, and I probably screwed up, and if anybody can correct me, please do. Okay. But here we go to Hebrews, okay? All right? Um, okay. So so this is uh, chapter 9, and this is talking about, okay, uh, going over uh, uh, what would happen at the temple, okay, um, with the high priest and the blood sacrifice. When everything had been arranged like this, the priest entered regularly into the outer, uh, um, outer room to carry on their ministry. But only the high priest entered the inner room, and that only once a year and never without what? Blood, which he offered for himself and for the sins of the people that had committed in ignorance. Right. Am I reading from? Yeah, hold on. Because uh, this, we'll, we'll do the NET because it's closer. All right, all right. Let me scroll out here. I'm sorry about this, guys. Okay. Um. But no, okay. Um. Here we go. So these things are prepared like this. The priests enter continually into the outer tent as they perform their duties. But only the high priest entered once a year into the tent, and not without blood, that he offers for himself and for the sins of the people committed in arrogance. The Holy Spirit is making clear that the way into the holy place had not yet appeared as long um, as the old tabernacle was standing. This was a symbol for the time that, 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 uh, um, that then present. When gifts and sacrifice were offered that could not 
that could not perfect the consciousness of the worship. They served only for matters of food and drink and various ritual washings. They are external regulations imposed until the new order came. But here we go. But now Christ has come as the high priest of the good things to come. He passed through the greater, greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, and he entered once for all into the most holy place, not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, so that he himself, remember, what does it say? God himself will, what, 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 what do we see throughout the theme? Okay, we see one, God provides the sacrifice of the animal to cover up the sins. Two, okay, man rejects that in the form of Cain, sheds his own bro blood, um, brother's blood because God accepted his sacrifice of blood. Three, okay, we see Abraham going to sacrifice Isaac to shed the blood. And Abraham says, no, God himself will provide the lamb. But he doesn't. He provides a ram. Uh, four, we see in, in, in the Passover, the by, or, or, in the Passover, we, we see that God is telling him to sacrifice the blood of lambs and put it on the board, uh, on, on the doorstep so, so that the destroyer will pass them over. And, and, and ultimately, we see that God himself says, I have blood, life is in the blood. I have provided you for the expiation of sins or for the um, um, admonishment of sins, the, the atonement of sins. But, but here we have, so who is this perfect lamb? Who is this blood that is to be shed that God keeps providing? It is Christ, okay? Because he enters into the most holy place, not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. And so he set, and so himself secured eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a young cow sprinkled on those who are defiled, consecrated them and provided ritual purity, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our consciousness from the dead works to worship the living God? So he is the mediator of the new covenant, so that those who are called may receive eternal inheritance. Um, he has promised since he died, to, since he what? Died to set them free from the violations committed under the first covenant. For where there is will, the death of the one who made it must be proven. For a will takes effect only at death, since it carries no force, while the one who made it is alive. So even the current first covenant, the first covenant was inaugurated with blood, right? We see that. Oh, I didn't get to that part. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I didn't get to that where um, Abraham walks between the um, pigeons and the what, whatever. I forgot that part. For when Moses has spoken every command to all the people according to law, he took the blood of calves and goats with water, scarlet wool, and hyssops and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people and said, this is the blood of the covenant that God has commanded you to keep. And both the tabernacle and all the utensils of worship, he likewise sprinkled with blood. Indeed, indeed, according to the law, almost everything was purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Nothing well, on this. Amen. Stop. Hold on just a second. Say that. Very now. good. Come on. That's not. What is that? What? <laughs> Without the shedding the of blood. Shedding. So it takes you back. It it takes you back again. It's this interwoven theme. And dude, read. And this is oh. this is why we just say that Islam is completely in, in, incompatible with the Judeo Christian no practice. Right. Yeah. Because right. It, it has no bloodless right. false gospel. Right. Yep. Right. No forgiveness I, I, of sins. And what's I, really funny is is that uh, you know Muhammad confirmed this, by the way. Muhammad and Allah confirmed this. Well, so? I hope that wasn't too heavy on you guys, but you know, No, no, that was it. you're just taking uh, us no, right, no, to, that's good. right to the core, the core Spot reason on. for why he came. And I have a list here that I'm just going to I'm going to go through here in a couple minutes. Uh but the one thing that I wanted to focus on was comparing and contrasting what Jesus said what Jesus did in, in the New Testament 
and what was prophesized of him in the Old Testament. And I want to compare that to the, I think he speaks nine times. Nine times he speaks in the in the Quran. He's mentioned 25 times, 35 times, I can't remember. But he only speaks, he doesn't speak in all of those um, in all those verses. Right. So what I want to do is I want to go through what he actually says uh, in these oh, verses. No. So I, I've compiled no, nine no. verses, nine verses here of what he says. Um, okay, chapter three, verse forty-nine, and actually this this is <laughs> this isn't actually from Allah. This is from uh, a Gnostic writer um, or a uh, apocryphal writer, late second century. This is where Muhammad got this. They'll never admit it, but when we start looking at the sources for the Quran, many of the, not not all, but many of the stories that we do find in the Quran are not found in the Bible, but they're found in apocryphal sources, they're found in Gnostic sources, and they're found in Syriac folklore, uh, Jew, wow. Jewish Midrash, Talmud, and, you know, they, they weren't weren't written by you know they weren't divinely inspired they were written by jewish rabbis or people who wrote kids stories in the seventh sixth and seventh centuries but this one in wow. particular we know where it comes from it comes from uh the gospel of thomas uh, the israelite and it says i will make or i will bring you a sign from your lord from clay i will make for you the likeness of a bird i shall breathe into it and by god's leave it shall become a living bird now, Jesus did work miracles in the New Testament. This is true. But there is always a purpose behind them. When you read this in the context, and this is just the hard thing, you know, these contexts, stories written in context in the Quran are almost non-existent. But when you look at the context, there's nothing in the context around here why he's doing that. There's no purpose behind it. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Surah 2, or I'm sorry, Surah 3, 52. Who are my supporters for the cause? Or no, who are my supporters for Allah? That's all he says. Who are my supporters for Allah? And then his disciples says, we are the supporters of Allah. We have believed in, so his disciples get to say more than Jesus did. Uh, then you get to <laughs> chapter 5. Uh, let's see. And remember when the disciple says, oh, Jesus, son of Mary, can the Lord send? Okay, no, that's not what Jesus says. Fear Allah, if you should be believers. That's it. Right. Stupid. Fear Allah, you should be yeah. believers. Does that, does that sound like, does that sound like the Jesus of the New Testament? No, sir. Not at all. I mean, these, these verses sound nothing like the Jesus of the New Testament. But there's more. Oh, yes, there's more. Oh, Allah, our Lord. Send down to us a table from the heaven to be for us, a festival for the first of us and the last of us, a sign from you and provide for us. And you are the best of providers. <laughs> what table? Where's that there's, at? There's more than one provider. <laughs> oh, no, it gets better. Hold on. It gets better. Hold yeah, on. right. Yeah. Best uh, of okay. providers. Yeah, okay. Uh, chapter 5, 116. He will say, Exalted are you. It was not for me to say to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You know what is within myself, and I do not know what is it within my yourself. Indeed, it is you who you know her. And that's not what that says. That's not what that verse says. That's, uh, not, that's wrong. Say? No, it says... You know what's uh, I know what's in your soul, and you know I you know what's in my soul, and I know what's in your soul. This verse right here, in the Arabic, the word is soul. So Allah says in this verse that He has a soul, right here in this verse. Yes, sir. Well, let me see here and beware. In the day Allah will say, "O Jesus, Son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mothers as deities besides Allah?" Keep yeah. on reading. And, and you keep okay. on reading. All right. Okay. Reading. So let's just make sure that we understand what God is saying in his infinite wisdom on tablets that are eternal in heaven with God. He's asking Jesus, 
did you say, did, hey, did you say that uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be Allah and Mary, my mom? Did you ever say, who in the 80s, was it, this is where Muhammad had no clue, no clue as to what yep. the Christians believed. He thought the Trinity was Allah, Jesus, and Mary. He will say, yep. exalted are you. It was not for me to say that which I have no right. If I had said it, you wouldn't have known it. You know what is within myself. And you're saying that soul, Ed? Yes. Uh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the, uh, the actual within my soul translation. And do not know what is in yeah, he's your right. soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the bottom line is, is that this is Jesus is spending precious ink here in the Quran <laughs> denying something. Okay. So when we have Jesus speaking in the Quran, he's nothing but an excuse for Muhammad or Muhammad's uh, uh, desires. Let's just put it that way to prove that there he's a go. prophet. Of That's there's the there's the actual true translation. <clears throat> Let me, let's see. And when Allah, so I'm just going to cut and paste it and put it on my document here. Look at there. Man, am I getting good at this stuff? Yes, you are. No need to answer. <laughs> okay. uh, let's see here. And Allah said, let's make it smaller. This way we get it all on one paper. Okay, here we go. Here's what it said. And when Allah said, Oh, Isa, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother as two gods other than Allah? He said, praise be unto you. It is not for me to say that, but it is not true for me. If I had said it, so indeed, you know it. You know what is in my soul, and I do not know what is in your soul. Surely you are the knower of the unseen. So, yeah, Allah has a soul, don't you see? I thought Allah was a spirit. Yeah. No, Allah's not a spirit. Allah is Allah. Allah, he's yeah. got Allah's some soul, spirit. man. He got some soul. soul man. <laughs> he's a soul man. All right, James. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, okay, here we have. Oh, here we have Jesus uh, speaking from the cradle. Now we know that this is mm -hmm. this is straight from the Bible, don't you see? We we can find this one in. Uh, in uh, uh, where would we find it? Oh, we would find this in uh, Third Peter chapter seventy-two, verse twelve. Uh, okay, Surah nineteen twenty-eight to thirty-four. The gospel. This is this story comes straight from the infancy gospel of Jesus Christ. We know where this story comes from, and it's written in the second century. It says, "O sister Baron, thy father was not a wicked man." Okay, but Jesus said from the cradle. How can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? He said, I am indeed a servant of Allah. He has given me the book and has made me a prophet. So you have not only is this kid talking from the cradle. Yeah. He's talking from the cradle. Okay. But he has a book with him, don't you see? Yeah. Where's this book at? Islam. Where's the book well, at? That's what we're trying to figure out. What? Mm -hmm. What? what is what is this baby in a cradle doing with the book? It can he read too? I mean, if he can speak, he's you know, he, well, I would think if he could speak, he, he would uh, should be able to. Yeah, where's read. the book? What, Ed? Yeah, Bart Ehrman actually had something to Prove say it. about that too. Yeah, what does he say? Uh, hold on, let me find it real quick. Uh, See if I can find it. And he has made me blessed wheresoever I may be. He's enjoined upon me prayer and almsgiving to long as I remain alive and has made me dutiful towards her who bore me and hath not made me arrogant, unblessed. Peace be on me the day I was born and the day I die and the day I shall be raised alive. And this was a proof text or proof verse for people who say that, well, see, the, the, the Quran teaches that Jesus did die. And of course they say that this is a prophetic uh, text, but when you look at the application of it, Jesus, what is Jesus doing up here? I mean, he's being, he's, he's, a, he's a baby in a cradle. There's nothing here to indicate that it's a prophetic text at all. But right. we digress. Okay, Ed, <laughs> what were you going to say? Ed, did you find that? 
Yes, I did. It says, right, uh, <clears throat> it is implausible that Jesus brought the scripture as the Quran claims. Um, Jesus was definitely crucified. Early Christians were not Muslims. The four Gospels are the most authentic Gospels. Jesus definitely did not predict Muhammad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, this is good. That's the next oh, this one. is Hold good. On. Woohoo. Is there on. any more? Hold on. I, no, I think oh, he's I got, getting got ready to retire, so okay. you know, that's probably Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, children of Israel, indeed, I'm a messenger. I'm the messenger of Allah to confirming what came before me of the Torah and bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmed. Ahmed, okay. the praised one. The praised one. Yeah. How can you know, this is so convenient. You have Muhammad <laughs> prophesying of his own coming, but he's just well, making Jesus say it is all. Yeah, Jesus saying it. Yeah, let's, now, do you let's, think, get a, let's get a manuscript of that from Jesus' time, okay? Well, it's in the Jew. Can anybody see that in the scriptures? Because I don't see it anywhere in the Bible. I mean, it's just yeah, I can't here. find it. It's in the Injil. Make believe. Oh, wait a minute. I thought right it was there. supposed to be. Didn't wait? Doesn't that say it's in the Torah? Uh, okay, well, quit making sense. Hold on. Let me see here. <laughs> irregardless, irregardless, uh, when you go look at actually what. They have derived that the, the word in Jeel from is the Greek Eugelian. Yep. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. New, which is so, gospel, isn't it? The exactly. New, the, good news. the good news. Yeah. Okay. So, God, good news is gospel. So, if they can't understand what a gospel is, good news, then they can't. This is this is the, the foolishness of of people who claim it doesn't exist. They apparently don't understand what the gospels are. It, it's just a lack of logic. Well, they don't. Well, they, well the number one, they didn't. They do not know what the gospel say. And when you, and see, that's so that's that's so stupid because they say, well, we don't we don't know what the real gospel message is. Well, if you if you go to this book here, you go to this book here, it tells you. On let me see here, uh, it tells you. What does it tell you? The disciples. Uh, well, it tells you that Paul was a disciple. That doesn't tell you that. That's in uh, Syrah. Up oh, here we go. The Gospel and the Torah. It tells you on page three ninety seven. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hurray Milla came to him and said, "Do you not allege that you follow the religion of Abraham and believe in the Torah, which we have?" to testify that is the truth from God. He replied, certainly, but you have sinned and broken the covenant contained therein and concealed uh, what you ordered and play men associate yourself. Say, O scripture folks, you have no standing until you observe the Torah and the gospel, which has been sent down from your Lord. Right, there's supposed to be something in here that mentions John, the gospel of John. I'll find, I'll find. Oh, here it is on page 149. Among the things that which has reached me about what Jesus, the son of Mary, stated in the gospel, which we, he received from God and for the followers of the gospel, and applying a term to describe the apostle of God, is the following. It is extracted from what John, the apostle, set down for them when he wrote the gospel for them from the testament of Jesus, son of Mary. Page 149, 149, 150. I know it was there someplace. No, that's the life of Muhammad. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's the biography, right? The Sir yeah. Rasulallah. Um, yeah. And it's supposed, <laughs> and it, it, but here, just like anything else, even Ishak supposedly wrote this uh, seven, let's see, 760, I think is when he died. And then you have wow. uh, even Hisham came in and edited what even Ishak, I remember, Muhammad died 632. Ishak, 760. Ibn Hisham, 860. So Ibn Hisham Jeez. is writing, deciding what is and what is not to be the biography, be in the biography of Muhammad. And he wow. lived over 200 years after Muhammad died. So, <laughs> yeah, and we, we're not even sure that he actually had any of the manuscripts. Well, 
anyway, when they start citing, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that when, when they start citing, well, what is the gospel? We don't know what the gospel is. Well, it says right here in the biography of your of your prophet. You believe that, don't, don't you? Oh, well, we can't be sure about that. You know, we don't know. Sure. Yeah. It's pathetic. Well, then produce the original in Jeel or shut your face. Mm. That's yeah, they that's have the no proof. Line. You know, what, their Allah says show it, proof. Or live with it. Yep. Produce it or live with it. Yeah, I mean, well, it's there, busted. Islam is so busted. Well, it, it isn't just, okay, and I understand that there are references. It was, you know, when you start doing history, start using the historical method and how you determine historical facts and what, what existed and what didn't. I got a sneeze. Doggone it. I was on a roll here, on a roll here too. Yeah, I, I was going to say. If you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect, man. Who is that? <laughs> Van Halen, man. Van Halen. <laughs> okay. Well, the, 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 what, what I was getting at is that, okay, I, I wouldn't even even ask or demand from them a copy of the Angel because there are, there are writings out there like uh, Marban Serpian, who talks about the crucifixion of Christ in 53 AD. And he mentions the good king that died for his people, that was crucified for his people. Okay, we don't have any of his writings at all. However, what we do have is we have it mentioned. I believe Eusebius mentions it in uh, his histories of um, of the church. So Eusebius mentions that writing. So what all I would ask is, you know, you don't have to show me an original because I understand how history is done and how we arrive at certain historical facts and how we use these facts to confirm historical events. All you would have to do is just give me an illusion, somebody mentioning this Injil that Jesus was given. Not what he did, not the good news that what he did, because when you say the Injil, Muhammad didn't even know what the word meant when he said it. So, oh, well, the Injil was something that Jesus was given. No, the Injil, the good news, is what Jesus did. And the Gospels are what proclaimed what Jesus did. And Muhammad denies what Jesus did. And this little screed right here, Jesus, make, having Jesus, of all people, say this about Muhammad right here is absolutely grotesque. Antichrist. Oh, there's a, the tidings of a messenger. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name uh, just happens to be mine. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And you believe that? You honestly believe that? Where, and I'm, I'm willing to go out on a limb here, where has any prophecy been out there where they actually prophesize of the actual name of the person. No. Oh, well, well, they'll try to tell you Deuteronomy 1818, but no, I'm sorry. But a name, but a, but a name though, is what I'm looking for. Yeah, the name. name. Right. The well, name. Doesn't say the name. That's Jesus, where they'll when they, try. Well, when they say, when they mention, uh, you know, we even cited it tonight in Isaiah 7, which his name will be called Emmanuel. Well, that the yes. names in yep. Hebrew have meanings to them. They knew his name wasn't going to be Emmanuel, or every Jewish woman in the in in the entire country would be calling, would be naming. What's your name? Right, Emmanuel. You would have too many Emmanuels wow. rolling around, running around. But here, so was Muhammad a Jew? <laughs> well, that's that's the humorous part to me. This guy yeah. who calls himself Muhammad, this guy with the name Muhammad, who hated Jews, who tried to kill Jews because they wouldn't violate the Sabbath. Um, oh, good point. Somehow considers himself a prophet of the Jews, and I, and I will never understand that one. Well, yeah, you don't. Okay, what you're doing there is you're actually asking for some consistency, right? And that's something that you're never going to get. Not just uh, consistency, some logic. I mean, it, but he can't. I mean, there's no coherent thought in the Quran, so I couldn't expect that from Muhammad. Exactly. M M Muslims don't do logic. Seriously, I got we got many recordings of them saying we don't do logic, but they all say, "Well, it's not logical." Or the great Imam says, "In the courtroom of logic and reason, right. his courtroom, no, his courtroom of logic and reason, whatever makes sense to him. If it doesn't make sense to him, it's well, he knows all about courtrooms. That's for sure." Yeah, well, 
Just oh, saying. speaking of which, yeah, that's true. Speaking of which, I did have a couple more verses I wanted yep. to go over, but I Holder have one Guard, more, and then you can go. Okay, but what? the Holder Guard has, has unleashed his epic video against Kenny. So oh, we hey. want to play a couple clips. Yeah, he just, he just published it now. So we might want to play some of that. We can go over. But, but go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So, sorry. That guy, I, 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 I. I just think he's crazy. I and I and I, I don't. I, I mean that in a kindly way. I don't mean that you know he's. Well, he might be diagnosably crazy, but anyway, okay. Let's go to this last this last thing that Jesus says here in the Quran, chapter sixty one, verse fourteen. He says, "Who are my supporters for Allah?" And that's it. That's about all he says in the Quran. That is the Messiah the chosen one of God in the Quran. And they love Jesus. Why? What the heck did he do other than say, hey, here comes Muhammad. Follow God. Right. Oh, and also, he asked for, he asked, what was that? He asked for some food. What was that? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, I've come to you with, okay. No, he was, he, he said uh, something about. Are you about, showing us this? No, I'm just kind of looking for it. Okay. So, yeah, and yeah. he talks from a cradle. Oh, geez. He was given a book that nobody's heard of. In the cradle. Yeah, where's this in a cradle, book right. in the cradle? Yeah. So the, the, the Jesus of the Quran is nothing like the Jesus of the Bible. And so when hey, I've got a question. We're, and we're told that Jesus was a Muslim and that they love Jesus. They don't love the Jesus of the Bible because the Jesus of their Bible died for their sins, shed his blood for our sins, their sins. It's not the same. For the remission of all. Yeah. For without the shedding of blood, there's no oh. remission of sin. Thank you. Rabbi. May I ask a question? Yes, Connie, go. Sorry. It's okay. I, I interrupted you actually. No, no, um, if this if this book was sent by Allah to Isa, well, didn't Allah say that he'll preserve his word? Of this book, right? If he's saying, if Allah's saying that he's preserving his word, where mm. is the preservation of this book? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. exactly right. there you go. Ding, ding. Exactly right. Yeah. Oh. Preserve your word. Hello. Where's, there's more where's of that logic you? coming up. Where yeah. is the pres preservation of this book at? Okay, where is the preservation? Is the, I'm going to write this down. Preservation of, of the, of of the Baby Jesus's Cradle Book. Yeah. <clears throat> and baby Isa's Cradle Book. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, well, we won't be making any sense here because we're analyzing the Quran. Cradle book. I gotta write this down. I got it. Yeah, that's that's the point. More like more like pulverizing it, but yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't want to be too harsh on it now because we might be called names. Uh okay, so Rad, were you going to you got this uh, call me Rad? It's six thirty already. Well, how much time we got? Because I, I want to come. Thirty to more minutes. Couple. Well, you know what? I okay. I've tried to keep this to be an hour and a half, but I am being strong armed oh, into two hours, and that's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm getting I'm getting oh, um, this word. I'm getting um, <laughs> where you get in shape to do something. I'm bring, my endurance. My uh, <laughs> my hosting endurance. We're, we're addicted to the show, Eric. So it's got to be two hours. Well, I'm addicted to doing it. I love doing the show. And I love everybody here. It's just too it's much. Too much. Man, man. Oh. All right, all right. Rad. Uh -oh. Yeah. Okay. okay go. Share screen. Da, da, da. Let me share the screen. Okay. Okay. Now, so, what are we? Okay. Before. Okay. What are we? What are we looking at here? Okay. Good. Um, good. Well, there's some Bible verses. Um, okay. Good. So I want to go over something that was uh, brought up with a debate that the Imam had, and we've heard this from many Muslims, and it's something that's just totally ridiculous. Okay. Um, with Olga, our um, lefty friend Olga, which, by the way, is he ever come back to the show or what? I wonder. I don't know. I've I've well. corresponded with him. Uh, um, uh, I, I can reach out to him and, and have him. Yeah, come. He's, he's, a good, he, he's a good dude. He, he just yeah, yeah. he just. Yeah. Well, well, we're gonna, gonna see how that right. right. yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave it alone. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so 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 the Muslims bring up this. So Jesus answered them, "I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing on his own initiative." 
but only what he sees. Actually, they don't even get to that part. No, stop. Okay, the sun can only do. I tell you the truth. The sun can do nothing. Oh, okay. Well, don't read any further. No, No, but that's what I stop. Well, it is, and because he can only he can't do anything, right? No, no. Yeah, exactly. Here's a couple things with this. First of all, the Muslim argues, or especially in Kenny, that just like human beings are one being and one person, Allah evidently has to be one being and one person. That's point number one. But then he'll deny, no, Allah is not a being. He's not a person. <laughs> he is, what is he? A, what is he, a watermelon? Seriously, that's actually taken from one of the Islamic scholars. <coughs> anyway, okay, so, so so that's first point. But, but, but putting that aside, okay, what Jesus is definitely demonstrating here is, is two things. One, he is not a separate deity from the Father. Okay, because think about it. this is very important, especially in the first century where Jesus was preaching and, and, and practicing and converting people and saving people, right? Okay, um, in the first century, okay, Roman and Greco pagan gods, there was nothing, I mean, no, no Roman or pagan god or Greco pagan god would say, you know, Zeus is greater than all. You know what I mean? Or I can do nothing except by the power of Zeus, right? Okay. They wouldn't do that because they were always constantly at war with each other. There was the hope in the Greek or Roman pantheon, okay, according to their uh, mythology, that one god could overthrow the other god. So there was no, even though Zeus, you know, was was the king god, but he could always be overthrown or overthrown. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So here Christ is very clearly saying, I'm not a separate pagan deity, but let's continue on. So the Jesus answer, I tell you the truth. The son can do nothing on his own initiative, but only what he sees the father is doing. For whatever the father does, the son does likewise. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he does, and will show him greater deeds than these, so that you will be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the son gives life to whomever he wishes. Now think about that for a second. And actually, Olga brought that up. Um, to Kenny, to the Imam, um, who said, uh, you know, he brought him up, you know, can um, can Muhammad say that? Can you say that of the Father? Uh, you know, can, can, can right. you know, anybody say that? And, and, and the Imam said, we respect the Creator a little bit more than Christians do. And Olga said, what are they? So Jesus was disrespecting the Creator? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, right. and, and, and that's when he pretty much threw, uh, threw him off the stage. But, but no, bottom line, yep. think, of, think about what this is saying, okay? Jesus, said, Jesus is saying, I can do nothing of my own will except what the Father is doing. But then what does he say he can do? He can do whatever the Father is doing, including give life to whom he is pleased to give it. So very clearly, this passage, Jesus is equating himself with the Father. He is saying that I am equal, not in position of authority, but he is equal in deity and power because the Father t- shows him, t- Gives him, you know what I mean, from eternity to do all these stuff, and this is why the Jews went to stone him because they said, "What? <laughs> You're making yourself equal to God, okay? Because right. they were mm-hmm. rightfully going to do this, okay?" But here's hey, the thing, Rad. Here's let me let me comment. Point. Let me let me comment. Sure, let me sure, comment sure, on something sure. here that was in chat. Sure. Um, sure. This whoever this Al me me Mizane, Mizan. Uh, you criticized the Quran for not being preserved. No, we were, actually we we weren't talking about the preservation of the Quran tonight. Uh, we were talking about the Injil that the Quran says that Jesus was given, and we were just asking for somebody to provide us a copy of that or some type of reference to that prior to the seventh century. And then it says the Bible is written by anonymous people, and the gospel writers were um, they they did remain anonymous that's how biographies biographies in the first century were normally composed however we do know who wrote these gospels not only because of the internal evidence that we find within but we also find it within the external evidence that we find uh from the early church fathers and then it says it has all signs of discrepancies in it we call these variants and i would ask you if you're going to continue to post in chat if you would please post one variance or one discrepancy then there that um uh does away with any core teaching of Christianity. Have a nice day. Yeah. All right, Rad, go ahead. One other thing I'd like. One other thing I'd like to throw in there is is that uh, also Al Mazan, uh, 
your prophet and his God confirmed this Injil, Torah, and Gospel. So take it up with him. Okay? I, I, I would also like to add, before we get back to this, I really do want to get back to this um, really quickly here, um, to the Muslim. <laughs> Um, um, you know, the Injil we're looking for, the original Injil is where Jesus said, I am God, worship me, that you Muslims are hiding from us. Okay, why don't you produce the real Injil <laughs> where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Okay, mm -hmm. so stop hiding the original Injil. But anyway, so let's let's get back to this. And this is something I want, actually, the Muslim, listen to this. If you believe Jesus' word where he says, I of myself can do nothing. Okay, I can only do what the Father, um, um, the, the one who sent me, does. Then you have to believe this because no, seriously, this is important. I tell you the, the truth: the one who hears my message, my words, and that is what that, that you say you believe. Jesus answered, "I tell you the solemn truth: that the Son can do nothing on His own initiative, or something, or the Son can do uh, nothing except by the Father." If you believe that, and you believe the one who sent me. Then, then you have eternal life. The problem is you don't believe this because you don't believe that the Son, okay, that the Father shows the Son the same message that the Father shows. So, so uh, the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does. And when showing greater these than these, including just as the Father raises the dead and gives him life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. Because unless you believe this, unless you believe that Jesus is equal to the Father in, in terms of deity, okay, that he can do all that the Father does, everything that he does, including give life to whom he is pleased to give it, if you don't believe that message... You can say, I believe in Allah all you want, even though you don't believe he's the father. You can believe in all that all you want. You're not going to have eternal life. And that is the point. Right. Okay? The one who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned, but is crossed over from life to death. Okay? Well, that's and that's what we're trying to bring to them so that they'll have eternal life. And, and again, the, the Quran tells us that Allah will leave you in darkness he will leave you sick. He doesn't give anything to anyone. Uh, he, you know, if he wants to leave you in darkness, what kind of a God are you serving? Exactly. Uh, our God right. is much bigger. Can I'm you sorry, your guys, we can put in a box and take them out and wham, 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 and put them back again. I'm sorry, we can because you know what? Your God likes darkness. Can, can you share my screen again, Eric? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. And, and here, let's just nail this home. Um, to the Muslims listening, Kenny, if you're listening, dude. Okay, Kenny, you like to say we have to cross him because I hate you. I will tell you this we don't like you much. And why should we like you, what you did to Eric? No, that's not a likable thing, dude. But but anyway, we don't want you to go to hell. Okay, uh, here's what Jesus says I have mm -hmm. testimony. Of what, and he continues on. Jesus continues on. I, I have testimony later than that of John for the works that the Father has given me to finish, the works that I am doing. The, what was he doing? He's raising the dead. He's curing the sick. He's he's doing all these things, forgiving people's sin. Testify that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have, Kenny, you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you. That is clear. For you do not believe the one he sent, which is Jesus Christ, because you don't believe those words that Jesus said. You don't believe that, that he can do all these things that the Father does. Okay, so you don't believe him. You study, Kenny, well, you don't study the scripture, clearly. But but if, even if you've learned <laughs> to study the scriptures, <laughs> diligently, because you, you think you think them, them, because you think of them that you will have eternal life, these are the very scriptures that testify about who? About Jesus, as I have just briefly shown you in the blood sacrifice. These, uh, okay? Yet you refuse to come to who? To come to Jesus to have life. Let me continue on the final verse, I believe. Mm -hmm. I have okay. Very good, Rad. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to add. Oh, actually, let me let me go with this one. Okay, let, let, let's go. Well, back oh, I would just want to let me let me go back. Go back. I want to I want to point what? something out there where it says we where, where? study. You, okay, you study the scriptures diligently because you think in them you have eternal life. Don't. A, doesn't a certain religious group memorize their scriptures and then recite them because they think within those they get some type yep. of 
credit or something like that that gives them yeah, good deeds. Uh, eternal life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're filling nine, up the good them. deeds jar. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Good deeds. But yeah, but they're not coming to it's, Jesus for eternal life. But but here, let, right. let, let, let me offer you more proof that, that Jesus is clear, declaring his deity. Okay, this is going back to Exodus 16 after the Israelis, uh, the, the Israelites were grumbling about them after God just rescued them out, okay, from the mighty head of Pharaoh with seven plagues and seven pestilences or whatever, destroyed all their gods, including destroyed all the firstborn of Pharaoh, okay, and rescued them out with a, a pillar of fire by day, and a pill, no, I'm sorry, a pillar of smoke by day and a pillar of fire by, by night, and spoke to them from the terrible voice, from the thick black smoke on the mountain. That drove the 70 elders back. They crumbled. And they said, well, what, what, what have you done? You, you've driven us out here. We have no food. Well, here's what God said. Here's what God did. The whole Israelite community set out from Elam and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, blah, 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 on the 15th day of the second month. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven, manna from heaven, the people to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they, they are to prepare what they bring in, and that is to be twice as much as what they gathered on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, Baba, he repeats the message. So the Israelite community came, came before the Lord, uh, and, and so we heard they're still crumbling. Okay? Okay? Seriously. Okay? While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked toward the desert, and there was glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord said to them, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Okay, so so even after they ate all the manna, they got sick of eating the bread of life, right? They were still grumbling against the Lord. But but here is what we have Jesus saying. Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never grow hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you, you do not believe. Not believe. All those the Father give me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have what? Come mm -hmm. down from heaven. Not to do my will. And this is where the, this is the other thing. Not to do my will. See, he's saying it right there. No, no, no. He has come down from heaven. He is the bread of life. He is the manna from life that you Muslims are grumbling against. You just, yeah. just the opposite, 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 opposite. You're, yeah, you're I mean, he, he, this is what he's saying. He, he, this is what he's saying. I find your lack of faith disturbing. And, 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 Muslims, Muslims, I don't want more. I want more. I want more than this bread. Like, give us meat. Okay, bro. Okay, you're going to get it. But anyway, and this is the will of sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to, this, looks to who? To the Son. You don't believe Jesus is the Son. And believes in him shall have eternal life. And I will raise, and I, Jesus speaking, I will raise them up on the last day. Do you Come to Christ and do, do, do you see Muslims how, how these, yep. these 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 little snippets of verse you don't even quote the entire verse, just a few words, and you say, No, read the entire thing and, 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 and bow, bend the knee and, and look through the entire Old Testament, New Testament, the Tanakh, whatever you want to call it. It is a continuous theme. It is speaking about him. For what did he say? You look at the scriptures thinking in it you have eternal life. But no, the entire scriptures speak about who? Jesus. Speak about Jesus. Okay, I'm going to knock my soapbox now. Hallelujah. That's good, That's Rad. Good, Rad. Oh, oh. I like that. I like that. Makes mix. mix. This, this job, job earlier. Early. Oh, 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 Ed looks like you're oh, sorry. mute. There we go. All right. 
All right, how much time we got back? I do uh, want to play some of the video of um, Beholder Guard. Uh, we got about 11 minutes. I, I just want to address uh -huh. something here in the chat. If you want to know, what does this say? If you want to know where the original Tor and Jill is, then read your, was this, let me put this up on the screen. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, then read the Bible through the lenses of the Quran, and you will find it. Uh, the Quran is the... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. yeah, we might as well read, read, read it through it. Uh, Buddhism read, or something. We're going to read it from a book that came so, nine centuries later. So, yeah. so right. you, would, mm -hmm. you would not read the Bible by yourself or, or interpret it for yourself because it would be too difficult because the Quran is nonsensical. And it's not the criterion over the Bible. Well, he wrote, no, no, he he write, he wrote, no, this here's what he wrote before. Let's see, uh, the, Quran, uh, the Quran corrects fallacies in the Bible over and over no, again. No, it doesn't. Where, Actually, yeah, uh, look, I don't think he understands who Job is without reading the Bible. So the fallacies yeah. come from the Quran that don't even tell the consistent story of who Job is. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and let's talk about who Lot is. You really don't have a clue. <laughs> okay, here's one. Here's one. Yeah. Uh, must be understood holistically and not versus in isolation. And the reason why it has to be understood holistically is because there isn't a consistent story in the whole thing. You have one story here. It's it continues blah, over blah, here, blah, blah, and then blah, over blah. here. You know, it's it's just like a big whole jump mumbled mess so it's it's, uh, it's whatever false doctrine you know it's whatever false doctrine at the time depending where they were at yeah, um it, i'm, I'm it, hearing from hearing from the jews um because yeah. there is definite evidence where the jews um sold scripture there's quranic evidence where the jews sold scripture what they said was scripture to muhammad and that's what he would repeat and they would laugh himself silly because they're like this yeah. is an idiot yeah, and well, why he, is he, he why got, why do we he, find Muhammad and Allah confirming all this all this in the Bible? I we, mean, why are they confirming all this when we've got yep. this guy over here that knows better than Allah and Muhammad? Thank yep. you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Van Halen. I posted the uh, okay. I posted the link to the stream if you guys want to come up on and, and share with us or, or try to. Oh, uh, those two guys. Those welcome. two. Windhill is is. I always yeah, make those laugh when I see that name. I'm always thinking about Breaking Wind, but. <laughs> 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 oh my! The God. idiocracy of and Islam. he's talking about methodology. I don't know about methodology for that, but, um, you know, Windhill, you 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 don't give any anything. You set you make a statement, but it's so bland and so generic that it means nothing um this is this is you know this is a scholarly review i'm sorry you don't understand scholarly type reviews right um, this is critical thinking that's what we're we have been doing since the beginning of the show and you know outstanding work eric outstanding work Amen. everyone i i i have to say i'm i'm vastly impressed that you know we're getting the getting the good news out is all that matters and and it requires critical thinking not putting your head in a hole, which is what you do when you swallow Islam. Okay, uh, and it, it, you're absolutely right, Paul. I mean, it, it's it's it, here's here's what uh, let's see. You, you don't want to engage in theological discussions. Well, tonight's theological. I mean, we we were talking about uh, blood atonement. What where do we get that from the Quran? Well, you don't. That's why. Um, you don't want to engage. That's why you're not clicking on that link that I provided. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, the, we got a couple minutes I... left. Yep, go ahead, Connie. <clears throat> yeah, the, the Quran is robbing them from the richness of the salvation of God. That's why it doesn't talk about the blood atonement and the cross and Christ being the Messiah and why he came. I'm done. Okay. Uh Okay, guys, look, you guys want to have a discussion? Come up. Let's go. Refresh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. the team. Press the link. Well, so come up here, guys. Why don't, why don't Sunday, why don't Sunday you, you, you come up to the show and we can have a discussion? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, um, uh, well, look at, uh, okay, they can come Sunday because Sunday, oh, yeah, Sunday's Sunday. topic. Yeah. I wrote Sunday, Sunday's topic. I wrote it down. Yeah. Um, Somebody made me write it down on Sunday. Yeah, 2022, dude. 2022. Oh, oh here it is. Yeah, yeah this it will be. Here. Okay. Quran, true or false? Muslims welcome. That's the okay. name of Great. the show on Sunday. So if you want to come on Sunday, you're more than welcome to come Sunday. Email me. Let me put my 
email in the chat. You can email me, and I'll send you the link, and you can come on up then here. Eric, uh, sick of, sick. Yeah, they're Where? very much if, welcome. If, if you have the courage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they discussion. can sit around in the in the text all day long and my, my thoughts blah, are blah, they blah. don't have the don't, logical don't be a text ability warrior. to not use fallacious reasoning. That, that's yeah. all Wait a okay, minute, so, Van Halen was saying something. Well, say that again, Van Halen. I was just saying they Ed? can sit in the text and go blah 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 all day long, but you know when it comes to defending their profit, they're hiding. Come on, boys. Well, I thought they were yeah. hid. Where's the soldier of Allah? I call him now the Imam. Oh no, it's the uh, let's see, Imam Jaban Al Allah. Or no, Al Islam. Jaban meaning coward. I the can't wait to coward. read it, dude. It's it's looking like it's gonna be in March. I seriously right. just cannot wait. Okay, listen. Dude. Okay, we got to get to what you were gonna talk about with uh, All right. BG. Well, I don't know. Yeah. So here's we're, we'll just play some clips from this video real quick. Let me share everything. Cool. Hold on. Uh, I'm okay, is he zipping around somewhere. Athens on his little scooter, or what's he doing? No, this is, is the epic, epic video, the end of CC, uh, CTTV for good. Okay, oh, so that's what this title is. This is, is yeah, yeah, the, the, the end of CTTV <laughs> for good. Okay, so hold on a second. Where where am I at here? Oh, I got I got so many different screens up. Okay, so let me share the screen. Okay, um, share screen. Okay, Al Mazan says he'll come to the show. Wait, 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 hold on. No, no. Uh, hold on. He says he'll come. Let's see here. I will come on Sunday, inshallah, but you will answer my question on Bible too. Sure. Go ahead. Bring it. Uh, whoops, didn't want to put that up there. Sorry. Uh, what are you doing there, Kaffir? Um, I'm trying to make a big screen. Okay, uh, here we go. Yep, uh, you're there, Red. Go ahead. Okay, let me Red. see where I can see you. So, okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh my. This is Fort. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Kind of funny, Street CC. <laughs> kind of funny. All right. Fighter 2. Exposing yard. <laughs> Uh oh. It's got a nice theme. Now let's begin with the. Can you go? Oh boy. Stalking, harassing, black. Oh, this is all true. I didn't hear about the blackmail thing. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Huh. Terrorist threats. Yep. Alcoholism. Uh, Bloody Mary. Okay. But let's look at some of these cases anyone Oh boy. What's up with the background music? It's from Street Fighter, the video game from back in the oh, 90s. Okay. And here we have our friend in inverted colors. He looks really old in that picture. Well, it was only five years ago. I know, right? And read whatever you want. Isn't it incredible how they turn on each other? It is. It's 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 you know, and it's to me it's it's kind of sad. It really is. It's kind of like this soap opera that's come true. Uh, well, both I, I have to defend Beholder Guard. He has every right, uh, okay, to just totally go after Kenny on this because Kenny. I mean, he, no. I agree. No, 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 because Kenny defended. All right, let's just let's just okay, let's just do this. Right, let's just do this. Post the link in the private chat, and we'll I'll go ahead and post it, or po just post the link in chat, and that way people can spend forty minutes of their life. Assault causes bodily. Okay, okay, they'll never that's... get back. All right, yeah, yeah go this, ahead and yeah, close this... that in the regular chat because I closed the other window. So, but but yeah, okay. cl close it. And, uh, but hold on, let me All right. pause this. No, I got but, it. I no. got it. I got it. Okay, but no, mm -hmm. evidently he goes after the entire crew of CCTV, and that's what I was really interested. In, but I couldn't find it. But it's kind of really interesting. I like the okay. theme, you know, the Street Fighter kind of theme. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna give her a look for look through. I'm gonna give her a watch. It should be interesting, you know. Just, I'm, I might watch that before I watch Islamicize Me tonight. 
Oh no, I gotta what, what movies I gotta watch? I gotta watch um uh, You gotta watch The Matrix and you gotta watch uh, Oh my gosh, Royale. you guys are tasking me with too much here. You're right. I do gotta I gotta finish um uh, Oh brother. Dude, you're where retired, you're retired. Oh my god, what, what dude, you're telling us I, know, what, I, I got, got nothing to do. Uh, give us yeah. a movie to watch. You know? Like I don't have any money to spend too, because somebody Oh brother, how me. art thou? Oh brother, okay. how art thou? Yeah. How Love art it. thou? Now where art thou? How art thou? How, how art, art thou? thou? Got it. Right. George Clooney. All right. I'll have a report for you on Sunday. Right, um, hopefully, um, who is this? Al Mazine will come. And this other guy, um, Windhill, has been making some comments in chat. And I, I don't mind, you know, and as far as the mods go, I don't mind them making their comments in chat. So don't don't block them in chat. Unless, they, you know, I got kind of like the hot tune rule. Oh. You can call me whatever you want to. Uh, you can, uh, I don't like... It is, nasty it is language. If it gets thou. too much, I'm sorry. It is okay. where art thou? I'm All sorry. right, let me scratch how off before I get into where art thou? Um, but what I, what I was saying is, if they blaspheme Christ, that's what I won't. That's what or I the won't Holy say. Spirit or the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. But yeah, yeah, mods pretty much. Yeah, seriously, left because no, it's think about this. It's evidence. Okay, I mean, if you're a police officer, you want the criminal to speak. You know, let them speak. And gather the evidence. That's my personal opinion. But all right. Um, I hope I didn't bore you all too much or get too passionate. Sorry about that. I was not my fun, playful self. But um, I hope you all no, took away my great. Uh, so. That was my <laughs> granddaughter calling me. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, he said, Ed, okay, he's responding to somebody there. All right. Um, I'm going to run, guys. Uh, right. You guys have anything else to add for the fire tonight? Tonight was a great show because we're we're not only getting the 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 prophecies of Christ in the Old Testament, but what we see through those prophecies, you see the purpose, the reason why God sent Christ in the first place, and why He had to come in the first place because of that blood atonement that Rad uh, discussed. You don't find that in. Chronic theology. You don't find that in Islamic theology. You don't find that in any of the hadiths. The only the only thing you find is an excuse for Muhammad. And that's it. Okay, guys. Uh, nobody has anything for the for the cause tonight. Nothing. DL don't, didn't talk once again. again. That's okay. That's okay. Well, it's just. Um, it is useless to resist. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got some echo here all right guys thank you for coming tonight um how do you guys like my new logo up here uh with the pig the capper cometh is that over the top or what the pig oh the pig oh, no, I, I like that rem pig remind me to good. send you remind me to send you one eric uh now that i'm thinking about it, i'll send you one on uh, facebook okay all right all right. God bless everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you uh, were blessed with tonight's show. And we will be here on Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. Central Time. Don't forget, oh, by the way, uh, and he just jumped off here. Paul Sutliff has a show on uh, Thursday evenings at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time called the Sutlithian Report. Be sure to visit him. Uh, give him a shout out. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> like his video. And Dr. Kufar Phobia has his own channel. Um, what's the name of that channel again? I, I'll, I'll find it. I got. It. Oh, Ask the Kaffir Show, the, but the name Ask the Kaffir still has the uh, Warsh and Huff, something like that. Okay, I wasn't able to change it. That's all right. Um, and then uh, Sister Connie has her own YouTube channel. What's the name of that, Connie? I think it's Three Two One Love Walking the Talk. You yeah, I, I made it my other name. Uh, oh, that's you know, right. Okay, that, uh, so make sure make sure y'all scoot on over there. Um, oh, thanks. And uh, okay, look at here, Connie. Uh, What's this that? This is, I think, Charles. I want to invite uh, Connie and the rest of you to my channel if you okay. wish. Examine the room. Right. Hey, that's Charles. Oh, hey, Charles. Woohoo, Charles. Well, Woo you know, Charles. Yeah. About you. God yeah, bless well, you, okay. sir. All right, no, but you got disappeared on us. So uh, all right. okay, cool. we'll be glad to come. Yep, send us uh, send us messages uh, via Skype and uh, Facebook. I am all right, guys. I gotta go. God bless you. We'll all talk to you soon. Uh, remember, Christ came for 
us, to save the lost, to save the sinners. And it's that blessed assurance that we have through him that gives us this joy that we have um, in our lives. All right. God bless. We'll see you soon. Amen. God bless. All righty.